Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to give KDE some love. We're actually going to be theming it to look like Mac OS and function like Mac OS. So here's a little bit of a preview. We are taking full advantage of the blur effect that's offered in KDE. So let's get started. Before we begin, I do want to thank my sponsor for this video, which is Ridge Wallet. This is one of the easiest ad reads I ever have to do because I truly believe in their product. I've been using their product for the past year and have not had a problem with it. Its minimal design allows you to fit up to 12 cards in their wallet and you can switch between having a money clip or a money band or you could just remove everything altogether. No longer do you have to worry about having that bulge in your back pocket. It is a very small and sleek design and you can choose from multiple colors and or material. Not only that, they're actually offering you guys a 10% off by using the code NOVASPIRIT or clicking on the link ridgewall.com slash NOVASPIRIT. It also makes for a really great Father's Day present. So let's get back to the video. Now this theme is actually heavily inspired by Tigo Leggett. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. Now he's using Manjaro KDE and he also went as far as making a login screen that looks just like Mac. So if you want to check it out, yeah, link down in the description below. So we're going to be using Kubuntu or Kubuntu, whichever one you want to call it. Now, one of the main programs that we need is something called Kvantum. And this is the magic that makes all the blurriness happen. Now, you can actually get it through the GitHub and compile it yourself. Or you can actually head over to my Discord. And if you go over to Good Stuff, I do have the latest version compiled into a dev file. So it's easy to install. As you can see, it's like updated a couple of days ago. Or if you want to use an older version, you could actually get it from um, the Discover store and you search for QT5-KVantum and you'll be able to find it. So what I'm going to be doing is actually downloading this from my Discord. This way I could have the latest package and no need to compile. Just going to let that go through and give it a couple of seconds for the menu to kind of like come up and you should be able to see it through utilities let me see applications come on utilities there you go kvanta manager all right we're going to circle back to that in a second but what we're going to do now is actually start the theming process now i'm going to go over to settings and the first thing we need to do we're just going to go down the list over here on appearance so global theme i'm going to go over to new global theme and this is the one you want with the laf at the end when you hit install, there's two different versions, a light version and a dark version. So I'm just going to install the dark version. Give that a second. It's actually going to pop up and ask you for your password. So it does take a few minutes. Okay. All right. Once it's installed, you get that little green check mark. When you close it, it should be listed here. Click on it and you can just apply the theme. All right. Now that's done. We're going to move down to Plasma Style. In Plasma Style, we don't have to do anything because we just downloaded this. So we're going to go down to Application Style. Application style, I'm just going to use Kvantium Dark and hit apply. Now, we do need to set this up, configure GNOME GTK applications, and you see how it's still on Breeze. Now, right now, you don't see it, but what happened is if you open something like Google Chrome or something, it'll have the old theme. So we're going to have to switch that over. So what we're going to do is download new GNOME theme GTK3 style. And you could download this Mahovi version, or you could download a Sahara version. It, it's up to you. We just need the title bar to look similar to this. So I'm just downloading this one, which is the first one you would see. You could actually just search for it. And I am going to download the dark right here. This is the dark version. And I'm going to hit install. Give that a second. It's going to be installed. Hit OK. Now in here, we're going to change this over to Mahovi Dark. Again, you're not going to see anything change in this side. But if you're going to use like Google Chrome or certain applications that require GDK3, that's what's going to happen. As far as window um, decorations, we're going to head over to title bar and we're going to start moving these buttons over to the left side. So let's drag this down, drag this down. We don't need this either. We'll just drag minimize, maximize, and the close button. And then let's just move that over there and hit apply. And now all the buttons move to the left side. Get back out of there. We don't need to do anything in colors. We could just leave that. Uh, go over to fonts. We don't need to do anything in fonts. Uh, icon, um, it's up to you. You could actually keep it in this theme or you could choose, is it Cap, Capitan? El Capitan, this one. And all the fonts are more square-like. I, I actually personally like this one. So I'm just going to hit install and get the latest version, which is 0.61. I'm just going to download this one without the 
date at the end. Install, close, and then now I can select, where did it go? I know it came in, right here. So hit apply and all the things will change over to this new style, which I really like the square icons. Now we could get back out of that. And in cursors, if you don't like this cursor, which I, I find it fine, I, I like it. So I'm just gonna keep in this cursor. You can actually change it to the later version of uh, Capitan. And you can just search for that over here and you should be able to find a more this version or different versions i'm just going to keep it the way i like it which is this style all right next we have to go down to workspace behavior and then we're going to go over to desktop effects and we're going to add the blur so make sure it's an x or a check and then uh i'm gonna i don't want i don't like the noise and the blurry strength would be like a little bit like half under half apply that and you're gonna start seeing like the blurry effect come in. You see in the menus, like the blur in the background. Now moving down on this, this is again up to your personal touch. I like the wobbly windows. Now if you keep the wobbly windows, say you see how that, as soon as I try to move it, I lose the blur. Does that make sense? So it's up to you. Now more of a traditional style of Mac OS when you move this, uh, right now it's not blurred, but I will set that up. Um, the wobbly windows is not a thing so it's up to you i like the wobbly windows because i just think it brings in a really cool touch to it now moving out of this we're going to go back out and we're going to go to window management and we're going to go to kwin scripts in here we're actually going to download the software called force blur it's actually the first one install this and that's we need to enable it apply and that will like put a force blur in a lot of the stuff that we're gonna be doing in a second. Now, we're pretty much done with this. Uh, one thing I do wanna change is the wallpaper. So I'm gonna minimize this, grab a wallpaper just to suit our style a little bit. And I'm gonna go into, my favorite place is wallpaperflare.com. You probably see me use this a lot. I'm just gonna go Mac OS, whoops, if I could type Mac os and let's go for a lighter theme like this mountainous fog yeah i kind of like it so i'm going to choose the resolution pop over to 1920 by 1080 and save image as go over to pictures and i'm just going to call this wallpaper.jpg once that's saved right click on your desktop configure desktop and add image wallpaper open and it should be like all the way on top i believe there you go apply all right now it's starting to look pretty decent now the next thing we need to use is that kvantum program that we were talking about so over kvantum manager head over to change and delete themes drop this down and change it over to my hovi right here and use this theme everything's going to start changing all right now if we go over to configure active theme we want transparent menu titles and composing in general we want to keep this reduced window opacity by five percent and reduce menu opacity by like 15 percent and we're going to hit save so now if you take a look at this it doesn't look like it's transparent but it actually is so if I was to open this and kind of pop this over, you could kind of see it's a little bit transparent. So here's another thing that you could see. So if I have this highlight on top of this menu, you could kind of see like a blur and transparent effect over here. That's what we're going for. So now we're gonna work on the top menu. I'm gonna right click and add panel, and I'm just gonna do an empty panel, and it's gonna make one on top. In here, we're gonna add widgets. Here we're gonna actually need to download a couple of things. Get new widgets, download from Plasma widgets. First thing we're gonna need is called Simple Menu. And we're gonna install that. Next is Latte Separator. Install that. Chili Clock. Install that. And I think that's about it for this. We're gonna edit the panel and start adding our stuff. So here we have add widgets. 
and we are gonna do search to give you that little search icon up there then we're gonna do chili clock which gives you like a max style clock over here we're gonna do audio so we're gonna drop this audio here um, network we're gonna drop this network icon here and notifications we're gonna drop that right here and system tray we're gonna drop that right here and then for the left side we're gonna do simple menu pop that right over here we're also gonna do application title which I forgot to install so we're gonna have to grab that as well application title oh there you go install so let's head back to add widgets application title right here then we're also going to do global menu right after that so now edit panel and application title configure application title and we want this to be the application name and apply okay and then as far as adding another thing we would need to add a separator so the panel separator you need to keep one right here okay that way if you reboot it keeps the uh, menus left and right so you need to keep a big app, uh, panel separator right here now in the true apple fashion there's like a gap between the apple so we're going to add another separator and you see how it's like moved you have one on each side you could just right click on this set fixed size okay now it's this small move this to the left and kind of shrink this to like a, maybe half a pixel or something like that so it gives you that little gap and then we need to do it on the right side as well so I'm just gonna add another separator right click on that set fixable size drag this all the way to the right you don't have to do this but it's just the part of how Mac OS looks like to have that little gap there okay so now we could we got to change the clock and we're gonna go over to where is it uh, why is it not doing this configure there you go configure the clock and we want to use the fixed format of 14 pixels okay and then you could change whatever date format you want if you want a 24 hour clock if you want it not 24 hour clock that's up to you and then now edit panel and we need to change the height wait why did it go away edit panel change the height to about 24 and that should look just about right you might want to go smaller depending on what it is and I believe I need to add a spacer right by the magnifying glass as well so let me throw a spacer there I'm gonna throw this panel spacer right here to give it a little bit of a gap and I'm gonna make this smaller and there we have it now another thing you want to do is configure your system tray to hide certain things because we don't want to see every event like I don't want the Wi-Fi icon or the audio icon to pop up twice so I would just go here always hidden scroll down to um, network always hidden and other stuff if you want to hide it and whatnot you could do that as well hit apply and it's gonna hide those icons this way you have your normal icons over here now let's test it out if I was to open this my global menu is not opening maybe because I have to reopen this close tab Firefox unless this doesn't have the global menu I'm pretty sure it does let me go open a uh, file manager yeah there you go the global menu comes up the program comes up everything looks pretty good my simple menu is here now we are ready to get rid of this panel so we can edit panel and hit the the remove panel button on the left and now we are done with the panel next up we have to configure a dock for this so we're gonna head over to discover store okay so hit latte and then we're gonna do the latte dock so I'm gonna install this 
probably going to ask me for a password. Once that's installed, hitting Alt Spacebar will give you the search. So up on top, you could just do Latte and it'll pull up the Latte doc. And here we have a doc that we need to configure. So right click and do doc settings. And in here, we could configure everything we want. Uh, let me go into advanced mode. And this way we could set everything that we want to set. As far as like appearance, we want, uh, let's see, what is this, the length? No, 100% offset is fine. Colors is plasma, the background. I want the size to be 100 and opacity to be like just about there. Uh, effects. You could change whatever you want over here. And tasks. Okay, that's about it, I think. There's nothing more we need to change unless you want to change the height of these things. But if you want, we need to add some widgets, okay? So we're gonna do, where's add widget? And first thing we need is the latte separator. So we're going to separate the clock. We're actually going to get rid of the clock, but I want that line to be right there. So what I'm going to do is also folder, folder view. We're going to drop that in here. We're also going to want re trash in the trash can. And we could get rid of this clock. So I'm going to go back into dock settings so I could remove the clock. And that's about it for here. And now if you want to configure this, you would have to go over to configure folder view and we're going to change this to a custom location and this is going to be our download folder like how it is in mac and the title we're going to change it to custom title downloads apply and you're going to see look as soon as i open it has that now we also want to change how it looks so we're going to change instead of list we're going to change it to icons and apply there you go, we have our icons in our downloads folder. Close this out, close this out. And now anytime I need to add an application like Chrome, I could just right click here and pin it. Now, while we are on uh, Chrome, what you wanna do is actually use system title, right? But you see how it's not like a Mac style. So what you wanna do is go over here, go into settings, scroll down to the bottom and it says appearance theme classic use gtk and now we have the same theme that's what we did earlier remember the gtk3 thing and we that's how we get the uh, chrome theme or most applications that still requires gtk3 you will have this theme now i could close this out and we're pretty much all set with how everything would run another thing i would touch up on is console and here i like this style so if i was to go over here and go to edit current profile Honestly, I like how this breeze theme looks, like the green, greenish text, or if you want the traditional like Mac OS style, you would use green on black. But I'm gonna keep it on breeze because I just like it like that. Go over to edit, blur background, and add a transparency to it. And you could see that now the console is like blurred. Hit okay. And now we have our console, we have our menu up on top. We have our shortcuts over here, and if you wanted to add more stuff, you could just pop it in and uh, open it or pin it to the bottom. And I would just like pin this, pin this launcher, and now I have all those things on the bottom if I needed to. And if this is too big, you could uh, resize it all you want. But yeah, ultimately that's how the end look looks like. At any time in this video, you could always pause to see what I did. But again, this is my style. You could always adapt or change to it and make it your own personal style. But ultimately this is how it looks like at the end. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this theme, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, Hack till it hurts.